everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm doing a haul on some beauty products that i recently picked up so if you are interested in videos on fashion beauty and lifestyle kind of content please do consider hitting the red subscribe button down below and whilst you're hitting the red subscribe button please make sure you hit the notification bell and that will let you know when i've uploaded a new video so with all that being said let's get on with the video so i've done a couple of um skincare hauls in the past and i've showed you some of the products that i have basically on repeat so just some of that are just staples in my um, beauty beauty regime if you like so in this particular video i'm going to show you uh, a collection that i picked up from liz earl now liz earl is my it's a, one of my favorite um, beauty brands I, I love the simplicity of it and all the rest of it and one of the main products that I use from them is what we call uh, cleanse and polish. Some of you guys may have heard of that, some of you may not. Um, but what I recently did is I needed to replenish because I say I use it all the time. And I always like to check QVC because um, Liz Earl is sold on there. And what they do tend to do is sell um, the product, but sometimes you can get them as a... As a, as a collection so you get one product so for me it would be the cleanse and polish that I love to use but alongside that you get additional products as well so I'm going to show you the collection that I recently picked up okay so I will do close-ups of these so you can see them in a little bit more detail because with my lights it's it might be might be, be might be a bit difficult okay so I'm going to start off with the cleanse and polish now the cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser Deep cleanses and generally gently exfoliates for radiant, clearer looking skin. Now this is my absolute holy grail, staple, staple, staple cleanser that I use. Um, it's fantastic. I have very dry skin. Um, at one stage I did used to have a slight eczema. Now I don't know if it was products I was using or dairy that I was having. I've cut that out. I've not had dairy really, like milk wise. I think it was milk. In all honesty, I think it was the milk that I was drinking. So I've cut that out for many, many years now and I continue using this. So I don't know if it was this or if it was the milk, but the combination of both, I don't have any issues now with like flaky skin or anything like that. So I swear, swear, swear by this. Um, and this has come in the 200 mil and I think I'm literally have the last little bit, the last bottle that I had or tube that I had was a 200 mil and it does last a long time because you only need a little bit um, massage over the face hot cloth which i will show you a little bit later and then you just wipe it off and then continue with the rest of your regime it's it's it's, it's gorgeous especially coming into the cooler months as well uh, i do find obviously skin gets a little bit drier so it's always good to have something that's a little bit creamier and hydrating to prevent any dryness and going into those colder months so that's the yeah cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser one of my favorites okay and then following on from that we have the lizelle skin so instant boost skin tonic replenishes skin with soothing hydration to prepare for your prepare for your routine now this is in a 200 ml as well and this is what we'd call a toner um, now what i used to do is when i used to use my cleanser and then i use my toner i put it on like a cotton pad and you know with it all over but what i tend to do now is if i double cleanse and then what i'll do rather it comes in a little I don't know if you can see it but you, you you pour it onto a pad but what i do now is i put it into a spray bottle and then i'll just basically spray it across my face rather than wiping it across i feel like for two reasons main reason i feel like it keeps my skin a little bit more hydrated because there's a lot more product on and two i felt like i used a lot more product when i was putting it onto the pad you know and then wiping it wiping it over so um for me that's how i tend to use it and again this is really hydrating smells lovely as well it's kind of a it says aloe vera calendula and cucumber uh, and it's cruelty free so it's, it's just a really lovely light scent um yeah really nice so that's my instant boost skin tonic which i love 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 okay and then next we have i suppose the third part of your routine so it's pretty hot in here third part of your routine which is the skin repair rich cream now this is in a smaller size this is in a 50 ml so i'd probably keep this to one side and use this for like if you're if i'm traveling or anything like that now they have i think it's they, I, I don't quote me on this i know these have three um moisturizers so they had a really light one they had a normal to whatever and then they had very dry so i think they had like three so i always go with the rich rich cream i think they've just renamed it rather than calling it 
very dry i think they just called it the rich cream and as i say it's a skin repair and this is again a really nice light moisturizer um i did again going back to when i had really dry skin i've had flares of eczema i found that whatever moisturizer i used i would have to reapply um somewhat throughout the day because it literally just felt like a or looked like i'd not put anything on from the morning so when i started using this i found that i didn't have to do that i literally was able to go all day and my skin was still moisturized no flaking no nothing um so yeah so this i would say is because my skin's got a little bit better now i don't have to use this as you may have seen from some of my other videos i have been using other um moisturizers and they've worked really well but as the weather gets a little bit colder i probably will kind of um use this a little bit more just because it's going to get a little bit colder just so i've got a little bit more protection and hydration in my skin so yeah and this as i say it's a lovely lovely product it's a little bit thicker than like a lotion um and it sinks in really nicely i've had no issues with this as i say <sighs> yeah so it's worth a try if, if you are someone out there who has really dry skin and you feel like you tried everything you you may have tried this and i know everything doesn't work for everyone i know that there's a lot of things that i tried in the past because i've seen other people use it and it worked for them but it didn't work for me so as much as i'm saying it was fantastic for me i know potentially it's not going to be for everyone but what i would say if you haven't tried it i would i would suggest giving it a go um you know again i'd say pop onto qbc um qbc actually do a 30 day money full refund so if you did go on you know this isn't sponsored qbc you don't know me um but that's one of the the benefits of that so you could purchase whatever you want on their skincare wise and if it doesn't work for you you've not lost any money you literally just return it and you get your full refund no questions asked so again just just a heads up i don't know if a, a lot of people know about qbc but it is a good place to um, try a lot of other skincare as well because it's not just Lizille that they sell on there. They sell a lot of other different brands on there as well. So just just a heads up if you didn't already know that. And then in this collection, they also popped in some body products and like bathing products. So this is the, um, what's it? So it's a botanical body wash. Um, um, what? Ah, salt bark and echinacea extracts cleanses and softens for smoother skin oh bourbon that's what i was trying to figure out what scent it is um bourbon vanilla and clove bud now i've not used this um i have it smells it smells really nice actually it does smell really nice i have a lot of um bathing products soaps this and that so i think this um because i didn't really i mean the main thing i wanted was the cleanse and polish but obviously it came with the extras so I think what I'll do is I'll just keep this like in my toiletry bag for like traveling. I mean, it would be nice if it was in a smaller, smaller container just for ease, you know, but this it's, I, I have used their body products before. I've used the, they had like a, what was it called? Orange Blossom one. Oh God, it was so nice. Yeah, it came in the blue, blue packaging. So nice. And everything about their products are like naturally based, you know, kind of that, you know, that kind of vibe. Um, so I have no doubt that will be lovely as well. Um, so didn't be, I, I'll pop on the screen. I, I think that would probably be a 200 mil as well. I didn't quite look before I threw it over. But I think that's probably like a 200 mil size as well. So you get a generous amount. And then next to go with that. Um, so it's the same scent. The bourbon vanilla and clove bud. Um, this is a body cream. Now I've not used their body creams that much. So I can't really comment on the efficacy of it. Um, but this, it's got shea butter, avocado oil, echinacea, hops extract, and naturally sourced vitamin E. And it says intensively hydrates and smooths. Now, my skin is as dry as the Sahara. Uh, me and my daughter were <laughs> laughing about it the other couple of weeks ago because it's it's just so dry. It's, it's It almost looks cracked in, in some light. Um, it, yeah, it's horrendous. So for me, when I watch these adverts and it's like, oh, you know, for the dry skin and the, do that, and I'm yeah, thinking, sweetheart, that's not that, that even for my skin. So anything that I put on and it works, trust, trust and believe when I say, if it works for me, yeah, it's going to work for you. So again, I'm not, as I say, I've not tried this, uh, but I am looking forward to it. And again, I think this is something that I would probably put in my travel bag. Um, day to day, I tend to use the, uh, what's it called? The body shop, you know, the body butters. They work fantastic for me. 
again I've tried lots and lots of others and I always go back to that because I feel like I can moisturize with that and again throughout the day I'm not feeling like oh, I need to reapply you know it lasts me so so yeah so this is the as I say their body I think they've called it a body body cream so it's not a body butter or anything like that so we'll see we'll see what this one feels like um, actually just see how light it is I'd say it's not the same as the other one there okay yeah it's light it's light it is pretty light but it goes in quite nicely so we'll see we will see how that one fares and that's it if I didn't say this comes in a 200 mil size as well and then with that collection I also got a scent um, and this is the Botanicals Essence number 15 uh, Oud Oud Perfam 10 mil now this I have oh it, it's so cool it's called it's actual 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 spray can you say hopefully you can say that yeah can you well, I'm trying to do it so you can see yeah it's an actual spray I thought it potentially might be like you know like one of them roll-ons it looks like it's an actual spray um, I already own this in the full size I absolutely adore this smell it is such a what's the notes because you the, the, the notes does it tell you the notes no but it's it's quite a what's the word I'm looking it's quite a, a um, moody smell so it's it's not I wouldn't say it's fresh it's quite uh, musky. It's. It, I feel like it's. I think they named say like. Oh, I really. I'll have to see if I can put it on because I'm butchering it already. I really don't know what the the undertones or the notes are on this. But what I can tell you is I absolutely love it. <laughs> absolutely adore it. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, great fragrance for the day, and also for the evening. I, yeah. So that's really good. So as I say, that's a ten mil, and as you can see, good size. You know, good size with the proper spray and everything. So again, I'll probably just keep this in my like travel. So if I'm going, you know, you don't have to think, oh, what fragrance? I can just have this. So yeah, I just hope it doesn't dissipate because I find I don't know if you do that. Sometimes if you don't use your perfumes, you'll go back and have evaporated from inside. Inside. So I'm probably going to keep it in the box just to hopefully that prevents any kind of um, like you know, like light or anything, and potentially doing that. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know. I'm just guessing, but well, there you go. And then it comes with two hot cloths. So as I was mentioning to you before, um, when you use your cleanse, um, your, your cleanser, you put this into some water and then you literally wipe off. Um, and it's it's a muslin cloth. And what I will say is when you first use them, they are a little bit rough, not too rough, but it's almost like it gives a light exfoliation as well. So you, you can, I know this might be a little bit gross, but you can also see if you do have any dead skin, you'll you'll see on here as well so it is a really good um combination of you know um cleansing so so you get two of those and then this has also come with a little travel pouch now i don't tend to use these in all honesty um, I, I have every time i get like a little collection or something like this they always do tend to come with some sort of travel pouch or bag um it's cute enough but i'll probably just give it away to anyone who wants it or if not pop it put it into like the like a charity bag and then and then you know someone else can can have that but that's that's literally it there um so all of that so everything i purchased there um the total amount i think was 49 pounds and 96 pence okay so the full size um 200 mil cleanser is 28 pounds and 50 pence the skin tonic itself 200 mil that's 16 pounds 50 so what's that 30 what well we close to 40 quid and um, the body wash that retails for about 15 16 pounds um and then i've not included the actual moisturizer the full body moisturizer in there so again let's just say that retails for probably about another 15 quid so and the cloth i think you have to buy the cloth separate separately as well so all in all price wise paying 49 pounds for that whole collection i've saved quite a bit of 
moolah there um, so again it is worth checking on QVC for any of the beauty products that you, you actually um, purchase on a regular basis because what they do is I think they buy so much bulk that's how I, they're able to keep the, the cost down um, and I suppose those of you that know you know obviously the more you buy the better discount you can get and obviously QVC is a you know mega mega <laughs> um, company who have the funds to buy you know thousands and thousands opposed to you know a couple hundred or whatever so so yeah, so that's everything I picked up. Uh, if you do have any questions on anything that I have shown you today, or just in quest any questions on like skin stuff that I use, anything at all, please do um, put pop those questions in the comment section down below. Let me know also if you've used any of these products and what your thoughts have been and what your experience has been as well. That'd be really helpful, um, you know, for other people as well and i think that is everything i am absolutely melting <laughs> it's so warm in manchester today and we shouldn't complain but i'm sat here in this um this sweater which is kind of lined with like wool or fleece or whatever and i'm just like oh my god i am melting um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed today's video please do make sure you hit the red subscribe button before leaving and please make sure you hit the notification bell and that will let you know when i've uploaded any new videos i will leave my previous video which was a vlog i myself and my other half went to edinburgh so if you're interested in seeing what we got up to please you know click that at the end and have a little moose in over and see what you thought what you think and i'm i am now gonna go and enjoy the rest of my day i hope you're all doing well out there and i will see you again real soon bye for now Thank you.